Good morning, family, and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference's Black August Prayer Call. Today is Friday, August 11th, and every Friday in Black August, we are praying together as a community. As many of you know, Black August is an invitation to reflect on the history of the Black freedom struggle and pray as a community because there is power in prayer. We are having this prayer call, believing that we are our ancestors. And as we celebrate those who have come and gone before us, we also commit to continuing this fight for justice and liberation. Welcome and thank you for being with us. This morning, our prayer warrior is Dean and President uh, for Academic Affairs and Associate Professor of Homiletics and Hebrew Bible at Methodist Theological School in Ohio. In addition to her work at MTSO, Dean Bridgman is the founding president and CEO of Women Preach, a nonprofit organization that, bringing, that brings preachers to full prophetic voice. As an advocate for justice, we are thankful that she also serves on the Board of Trustees at the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. Dean Bridgman, we welcome you. Thank you, Tawana. And thank you to everyone. You know, my phone started ringing and I didn't turn it off. So y'all talk among yourselves so I can turn my phone off. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I deeply apologize because I, I, you know, we've only been doing online forever. And by now we should know all the things. Turn it all off, turn it all down, turn it all everything. <laughs> Let's pray, people of God. Let's pray. God, you are the God of our weary years, but you are also the God of our joy. And as we come into this day, this Black August Friday day, I remind us and remind myself in your presence that you have been with us for so many years and in so many ways. Our people, our ancestors have suffered under the hands of uh, those who would see us wiped off the face of the planet. And yet, we celebrate our freedom. We celebrate our resilience. We celebrate the ways in which you have shown us how to stay alive, not just to stay alive, but how to prosper. This Friday, as we reflect on those who have fought for freedom through the years, give us the courage of our conviction. Help us to become not just learners about freedom, but freedom fighters ourselves. Help us to be reminded that all of our freedom comes not just with struggle, but also with joy. So remind us today to dance and to sing and to be joyous and to bring our community close to us because we can go farther together than we ever can alone. I pray for those who are incarcerated, who are working for their freedom and for those who love them and who want to see them free, particularly those who have been just unjustly incarcerated and who may be held because they don't have money for bail. God, give us the courage of our conviction and help us to open our pockets to help. I pray for women who are incarcerated, who need to be made free because they have been treated ungodly while in prison. For those who have been raped, I pray for your comfort. Pray for your justice. For those who have been brutalized, I pray for your grace and I pray for your justice on their behalf. Give us the courage of our convictions. Help us to stand with them and to stand for them and to fight alongside them for what is right. God, I pray for reparations. There have been so much said about whether or not those of us who are descendants of those who were enslaved and treated wrongly can be made whole. But here's what I know, God. It hasn't happened yet, but you have a suddenly in you 
Things that have taken a long time can suddenly come to pass with your help. So give us the courage of our conviction. Help us to stand with you and to continue to fight for release and for reparations and for the resilience of our people. And this Black August, help us to fast when we can in memory of and remembrance of those who starve and who are hungry and who are food insecure. And give us the courage of our conviction that we will put our money toward Black farmers and Black food networks that help to provide our people with food. God, this Black August, help us to be mindful of unjust economic systems and give us the courage of our convictions that we will fight for justice so that people don't even have to do payday loans, that people will receive fair wages, no matter what. And God, that we would have the kind of economic system that is just and not predatory. Give us the courage of our convictions to live into our faith in such a way that we know that as our ancestor Fannelou Hammer told us that none of us is free until all of us are free. Give us a freedom sound in our hearts and in our souls that we will fight for it until all are free. I pray this in your many and matchless names, the many ways you show up in our lives and in our world, in the presence of all of our ancestors, that great cloud of witnesses, and in the strong name of Jesus, our elder brother and returning Christ. Amen. Amen, 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 and Ashe, thank you. Dean Bridgman for that beautiful prayer. And now family, we remind you, um, as Dean Bridgman mentioned, we are not free until all of us are free. And so we have a lot, we have work to do. And so we are about that work at the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And we invite you to join us in that work, invest in us as we do that work so that we are able to sustain and thrive. Please support the work of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And you can do so by a few ways. There are a few ways that you can donate. You can go to our website, sdpconference.info, Legacy Fund. There is an opportunity there for you to donate. You can become a recurring giver if that is on your heart this morning. You can also find us on GiveLify and you can just search Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. Your donation supports the work for justice and vision for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We are so grateful for you. We are grateful to be in community with you uh, and we love you. And we also have another way for you to invest in the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You can put your donations towards us through Cash App. And our uh, Cash App information is dollar sign S-D-P-C-I-N-C, all capital. So that is just another way for you to invest in the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference family. We are so grateful for the community that we serve. And as Dean Bridgman reminded us, our freedom comes not just with struggle, but also with joy. So we leave you with that. We hope that joy finds you today in whatever it is that you have to do. We love you and we will see you right back here next Friday at 8 a.m. Central Time for our prayer during Black August. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much, Dean Bridgman.